Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, so today、uh, I want to talk about、uh, the randomized the introduction to randomized complexity class. Okay, so basically, it's a randomized complexity class. Okay, and I hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Okay, so the first one that I want to say is a BPP. Okay, which is、uh, stands for the stand for the bounded stand for the bounded arrow. About the error of probability, probability polynomial time. Okay, so simply speaking, that you can you can just imagine that you get the probability prob uh the original deterministic Turing machine, but、uh, when you write the algorithm, that you can add the randomness. So basically, you can flip a coin. This is the definition. Okay, but、uh, let me just write down so uh the. Precise definition. There are two definitions. So first one is that L is in MP. L、oh, sorry, L is in BBP. Okay, if and only if、uh, the first one, uh, there is a probabilistic Turing machine M, such that the、uh, okay, the first one is that M run in poly n time. So N is the input. Okay, let's say input is X. So basically, okay. So it's let's say x belongs L. Then the、uh, the probability that m of x, uh, output one. Okay, so m has some randomness, right? So m m has randomness. The probability of m output one is greater or equal to, uh, two thirds. If x do not belongs L, then probability of m of x output one, is less than uh one third. This is the same as uh this is the same as the probability of the m of x output zero, which is greater or equal to two thirds. Okay. And uh yeah, this is the one definition. Okay, another definition that the、uh, which is also used is that you can imagine that you get the deterministic Turing machine, but、uh, there's a two random uh there's a, and then you view your randomness as another output uh. As another input, okay. Okay, so the first one is that the、uh, another definition. So definition two. The first condition is that、uh, the first condition is M M still need to run a、uh, poly n time. Okay, and the second is that、uh, X belongs L, and the、uh, and the、uh, you you want to have some randomness, but you you don't want your randomness to be so large. Okay, so. Which you can you can、uh, view that、uh, there is a randomness, which is an input y, which is a, another input y, and then the length is maybe、uh, let's say call it p of x. You don't want you want your randomness is at most polynomial, right? Because you have all have two polynomial step. Okay, so such that uh, so the uh, let me just write in words a fraction. Uh, the fraction of y of length. P of x, the fraction of y of length p of x satisfied m of x y is one is greater or equal to two third. Okay, so this means that you take all the input randomness. You 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 take all in you take all the take all the input randomness right. Ah,、uh, you you take input and the randomness. Uh, but randomness can、uh, the probability the fraction of the randomness will give you the results basically after、uh, two thirds. So this is essentially the same as previous one, but I just make the randomness. So this this, this there's a probability which would come from all the randomness. So which is、uh, you can say that y is the length, uh, length of、uh, p of x. Okay. And、uh, if x do not belong to L, then the same thing the fraction of the Y of lens P of X satisfied M of X Y is a, a is a Z one is a if if with one is that so equal to one third. Okay, so this is a two sides a、uh, probability class. Okay, uh, yeah. Okay, so uh, before let me uh before we keep going, let me just quickly prove something. So theorem. Which is、uh, not difficult to prove that the、uh, BBP is in XP. Okay, the reason is that the、uh, 
uh, XP means that probably the deterministic machine that uh, there are, there's a deterministic machine which you can only run exponential time. Okay. So proof proof is just one line, right? Because in the PVP, in the PVP that uh, this is your your, your initial uh, your Turing machine, right? In the initial state, and then in some state, then it will it will start to branch because you can flip the coins and uh, you got two choices, right? So you can branch. Uh, but uh, since you only got poly n steps, okay. So you at most have two to the poly n branches. So which is still exponential. So I can just run exponential time to I can still run exponential Turing machine to go over each branches. Okay, so approve just one sentence enumerate or computational pass. That's it. And uh, again, another theorem, which is also simple, which is uh, P, uh, P, P, uh, go to P space. Okay, the proof is also one sentence. So basically, originally we just say that uh, oh, we just enumerate all the possible computational paths. But now, uh, uh, for each part, computational part, uh, for each computational uh, path, that uh, you just you you can just you can just make a you can just make another two to you can just use a bit. So you get two to the impossible, uh, two to the poly, poly n. Okay, so let's 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 let me just take let's say I I can take the poly n. Bit, and this polyon bit can give me two to the polyon results, uh, two to the polyon space. Okay, so and and I can use these two to the polyon space to record every results. So I can make every, I can make a record of every results, and I can reuse the space. Okay, then find after that I can reuse all the space that between that I I just need to two to I just need two to the polyon results to two to the polyon space to calculate all the results. Okay, so basically, I only need poly n bits, and I get two to the poly n space to to uh collect the results, and I just count how many how many results which is which which output one. If it's greater than two thirds, then I just output one. If less less than one third, that uh one 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 third, then I just output zero. Okay, so I don't need much space. So the same proof is the same. Just enumerate all the paths and then collect the results and then count the results. This is almost the same as you want to prove that the MP is in P space. You just, because you just enumerate all the results, uh, all the computational paths. Okay. Okay, let me just say something about more complexity class. More complexity class, which, uh, which is related to this uh, BPP. Okay, so actually, uh, computer science is very crazy that uh, they create a lot of classes, which I find is interesting. So this is a uh, classes, and I can I can just run the same parallel. I can say, oh, if L belongs to something, and runs in poly and time. If the X belongs to L, probability of this probability of this. Okay, so this is let me just write down. So if X belongs to L, then I can say the probability of M X, or maybe you take a random input, output one. This is to consider every random, and uh, this is x do not belong to L. The probability of R M of X R. Uh, which I'll put uh, one. Okay, so what BPP BPP means that uh, this is two thirds. This is one third. Okay, this is less than one third. This is greater than two thirds. Okay, and uh, actually the fact that uh, if you take if you take anything which is greater than equal to one minus epsilon, where epsilon is greater than half, that you get the same class. Okay, so proof just one sentence use a majority votes. Basically, you just do your algorithm for the for some time that 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 you can get the results. Okay, let's say good epsilon and one zero. So one zero means that uh, if you get one zero means that uh, you are correctly you don't have any randomness, right? Because the probability is one. And the, the probability is zero, so we don't get any randomness, which is p. Okay. And then there's a thing called rp, which is this is two greater or equal to two thirds, and then this is zero. And then there's a thing called the. Uh, oh, by the way, so the r so the rp is the same. If you take epsilon, which is zero, greater or equal to epsilon, and then if you take np, so 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 np means that uh, actually this is greater than one, greater than zero. For however, if you any get a tiny chance. For example, you take a set, right? You take a three set formula. Maybe there is only one, uh, one satisfiable assignment. 
that the, all you need to do is to put, so run, uh, if you randomly choose, you get one over two to an n possible. To one, you only get one, to, one, uh, one divided by two to an uh, probability such that uh, this is true. So which is greater than zero. Uh, zero. And uh, you, if you take, uh, there is a, a different complexity class called PP. Uh, this complexity class is very interesting, which is uh, connected to the quantum computing or the total theorem. So there's a PP, which is less greater, uh, greater than half, half and less equal than half. And actually you can prove a very interesting thing is that uh, if you take this to be greater than half and then you take less than half, you still get PP, okay? Okay, so obviously that uh, you can use the same proof that you just count how many uh, accepting paths. So actually every of it belongs to a subset of P space. Okay, so the theorem, which is uh, very trivial that the P is a subset of uh, RP. You just write, write down definition, right? Because P is one, right? But for RP, you only require greater or equal to epsilon. So you just, this is trivial. You just follow this table. And the RP is only, so the, the condition for RP is only one side arrow, right? So PPP is more restricted than RP. So it's a BB, uh, sorry, more have more freedom than uh, RP. And the PPP is two thirds, right? So it's less than PP. Okay. And then also R, RP is the subset of NP. This is simple, right? Because RP is a two thirds and NP is square, only greater than zero. Okay, so NP. And then, so the only thing that misses here. Okay, so this is another interesting proof, proof that NP is a subset of PP. Okay, so PP is a probability term machine or the probability the algorithm take, has the, uh, the probability output one for greater than a great strictly greater than half. Let's, let's use this notation. Okay, and the, I only need the strictly greater than half. So this is the interesting part. Okay, so proof. The proof is that I only need to show that three set is in PP. Okay, so let's say if X belongs to C set. Okay, so let me just, let me first uh, write down our reason. So let's say somebody give you a set. And uh, so if you have your set, it's just formula as X1 of X and Boolean variable. And uh, so the PP algorithm just run this. So I, let me just run, uh, run I'm, uh, let me just choose uh, XI uniform random. So I just uh, choose uniform random. And uh, I, I take maybe poly step, that poly end step, I just choose uniform random. And uh, if any, um, this is take maybe uh, poly end steps. If any, uh, I, I, I mean, I only take a P, I, I cannot choose every, I, I cannot choose two to the n possibilities, but I just randomly choose maybe poly and poly and possible cases, not all of it. Okay, so if any one is, is true, so if, if any one uh, make phi is one, then the, my algorithm just output one. This is trivial, right? Because it's always a satisfiable. If not, if not that m of x, Let's say this is this algorithm is m. Let's say m of x output the one uh, with probability with probability half less minus one divided by two to n plus one zero with probability half plus uh, one divided by two to n plus one. Okay. Uh, then then you prove the results. Okay. Proof. Okay. So now let's finish the proof. Uh, if x belongs to uh, if x belongs to set means that x is satisfiable, then the probability of m of x output one is what is a uh, maybe you choose some random okay that is greater equal to the extremal case is that there is only one assignment which make the all strings true okay so it's greater equal to maybe a half minus it's greater than one over two to the n, right? Because you get one over two to the n possibilities that may you make a, you make an assignment, you make a one plus plus that you don't get any uh, plus the prob probability that in the previous random step you cannot find anything, but you still get a probability. You still output one with probability of half minus one over two to n plus one. Okay. 
So you can, this is a very simple calculation that you can show this one divided by this. Okay, so you can see that at least two turn cancel, you get half plus one divided by two, two and two and plus one, which is greater or equal, exactly greater than half for fixed n. Okay, and if x do not belong to set, that the probability of m output one is you, you, you don't get these terms, okay? So it's exactly uh, this minus this, which is strictly less than half. Okay, so now we prove that the NP is a subset of PP. Okay, so which means that NP is not the not the ideal case. Uh, it's not the i it's not the ideal class that the uh, the real computer should have, right? Because you you cannot distinguish the slightly half probabilities. Okay. So we have uh, some, yeah, okay, let me just write a ZPP. This is another complexity class, which is RP intersection with co-RP. Okay, and uh, so core language is basically the L bar for, or for any language. So L belongs to this, okay? And the fact that I will uh, prove in the future video is that uh, one can easily show that the BPP is also the subset of BQP, which is actually the B subset of PP. So this is bounded quantum, uh, bounded arrow uh, quantum, quantum polynomial time, you just replace your uh, probabilistic polynomial term machine to be the quantum, that's added the quantum. So this is trivial. Okay, but uh, this is uh, non-trivial to prove. Okay, which bounded probability is still bounded by PP. So PP is somehow like the very, very large class. Large class has a um, powerful results. Okay, there's an open question. That the two, I should say the two, the main two big, so the main uh, the I should say the both the two uh, open question in computer science. The first one is a uh, P versus MP. The second is the P versus B, BPP. Okay, so uh, people believe that the P is not same as MP, uh, but people believe that the P is uh, maybe the same as uh, BPP. Okay, there is a theorem which is I will not got, I will not prove here, which is non-trivial that uh, if P is MP, then you can prove that BBP uh, is the same as P. So this is the same as uh, BBP, do not the same as P, then you prove that you prove that P is not the same as MP. Well, so this is a uh, uh, very hard to prove. Maybe it's a non-trivial thing. Okay, so uh, this is my short uh, introduction for these uh, probabilities, a uh, randomized complexity class. And the next time I may talk about quantum complexity and then connect with PP or something, which is interesting. And uh, I also want to talk about the point of hierarchy. So I, I want to first set up with different uh, the complexity class. And uh, in the future that we, I can start from here and uh, start to build the theorem between all this, all this crazy complexity class. Okay, see you guys uh, next videos.